Hey guys, what's up? So, we have been with the Nord now for a few days. Gonna tell you what I like, what I don't like about it. First off though, look what we have. New oxygen update for the phone. So, some of the updates. Improved launch speed of gallery. Improved display experience. Fixed issue of background music playing while launching front camera. Um, so it's not something I've experienced and then we've got some camera updates as well as the system updates so We've got improved quality of video calls Improved color accuracy and white balance for low-light selfies now I have to say The light for the selfies wasn't very good and it did not compare to the 70 uh, which was a bit of a shame Because I expected it to be better being a newer camera Also having a better front-facing camera too and then we've got improved vibrancy and colour accuracy of macro camera. Um, so, you know, that should be uh, all some good welcome changes because, as I said in my initial unboxing video, I wasn't overly impressed with the um, macro camera, which was a real shame because, you know, I was thinking that potentially this could replace my 7T um, and it's not going to replace the 7T, unfortunately. I don't know whether I've got... Uh, um, I've got really high, not high expectations, but I think with OnePlus, they give out such cracking phones that the 7T is just still a notch above, I feel personally, um, compared to this. Um, so, you know, some others may feel the same. Some people might disagree with me completely. I'm sure plenty of people will disagree with uh, the things I've got to say in my kind of reviews. Um, they're not your standard review. So, um, yeah, so I've had this for a few days now. I've taken a few photos. So the sort of thing that you're going to get to see um, shortly in the review, in the video. So I will put them up for everybody to see. So you will be seeing some of the pictures I've taken the other day. So I've taken some outside shots. I've made a couple of little videos. I've made a front facing video and a rear facing video. Now I was pretty impressed with those. Um, however, the colored maybe seems slightly off to me. It was an exceptionally sunny day, but you would have expected this to be able to cope with it. Um, I took a little quirky little picture of a couple of uh, signs that I saw out and about and some flowers, etc. cetera. Um, and I'll also show you the photos that I took while I was sat here doing the initial unboxing, so there'll be a selfie of me um, with awful hair, and uh, there'll be a little picture of the bear who's always always there for good measure. Little selfie video on the OnePlus Nord. See what the quality is like. Got a bit of sun going on. Not bad. So we're recording on the OnePlus Nord. Hopefully the sound isn't too bad and I'm not covering up the microphone with my hand. You can change the uh, the aspect when you're filming, which is pretty cool. So yeah, my overall impression, camera, isn't anywhere near as good as a 7T so if that's something that um, you're looking for personally go with a 7T um, if you're looking for really really good camera experiences you know the um, the Nokia that I've just reviewed the 7.2 that had a pretty good camera well actually a reasonably impressive very impressive camera for the price range of being about 200 pounds compared to this being sort of 380 um, I would also say that the Xiaomi Mi A3 Again, for the price, less than this, quite a bit less than this, you're getting a really good camera experience. Now, initially, I think when I said I was doing budget reviews, I was trying to keep under the £300. Well, you know, because they're calling this a budget phone, I thought I would review it anyway. But really, it's probably not quite in a budget price range, in my opinion, when you've got the companies like Xiaomi and My Redmi knocking out phones for less than £200 with some exceptional quality gear. Um, I'm going to be looking to get my hands on a Mai soon, so I'm not quite sure which Mai we're going to go with, a Redmi. Um, might go with the Note um, 9, I believe it is. Um, it's not long out, got a wicked camera set up on the back, 
so that would be something interesting for me to review and um, enjoy unboxing for you guys so the photos as I've just said you've just seen those photos on the whole they're good in decent light they're good but personally not as good as a 70 um, and if you're looking to upgrade a phone like I am at the moment looking for a new daily phone then that's not something I'll be switching out for looking forward to the um, Pixel 4a coming out and also looking forward to the Pixel 5 now I've heard today that the Pixel 5 is probably only be coming out in an XL version which you know for me that's that's pretty standard size a sort of six inch or so anything smaller and I'm not particularly interested um, but yeah hope you've enjoyed this quick recap on the camera and um, if you haven't already please give a sub to my channel much appreciated if you want to buy this phone or have a look at it check out the link below that will take you to uh, all the rest of the specs etc on Amazon and thank you very much for watching cheers take